Uh, this is Project 2013, so I go to the Report tab and point at Resources, click that down arrow, and I'm going to display the Overallocated Resources Report. So you can see here it, it shows that there are three overallocated resources in this project, and it shows when the overallocations are. So what I, what I want to do is, now I was just complaining that you know, when I work on my projects, it's just me, but I do have this fantasy that I could find replacements and assign some of the work to other people. So that's exactly what I'm going to do um, editing this first report, is I'm going to create a report basically to help me find replacements for these overallocated resources. Okay. All right, so the first thing to do is, because I've got this built-in report, I'm going to create a custom report. Now, you see here that it says copy report, and you might think that that's how you would copy a report to create a new one. But no, you would be wrong. Yeah, and actually, by the way, so copy report, what that does is it, ta it makes a copy of of what you see on the screen here so that you could actually paste it into something like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint. So we click the, click the down arrow and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename the report. Now I'm actually not renaming, this is where I, it, it's, it isn't quite obvious, I'm not renaming this built-in report. What I'm going to do is by renaming I'm creating another report with that name. So I click that, and I'm going to call this Find Replacements, and then click OK. Now what I want to do before I actually go in and edit the report, I'm just going to hop back over to the Report tab, and click the Custom Down Arrow. And now you can see that there is this report that I basically copied. So. Okay it's there. But I'm going to go back over to the design tab because I want to make some changes to this report. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to edit the title because I want it to say what this report name is. So I just click the title, select the text, and type in the new title for the report. So now I know as soon as I bring this up, I know what the, what the report is. Good. Next thing is I'm going to, what I want to do is, in this case, I only have three resources who are over allocated, but I really want to focus on just one resource at a time. So I'm going to click this over allocation chart. And you see when I click it, a couple of things happen. The first thing is I get this whole pane of stuff that I can do to the report or to the chart on the right side, but I also get a couple of buttons that I can use right next to the chart. So the easy way to filter this chart to show just one, one resource is to click this filter button and in this case, I'm going to start by looking at the developer. So I just turn off the checkboxes for the other resources and then click Apply. And now the chart just shows the over allocation for the developer. So I'm going to focus on finding a replacement uh, for the developer. Okay. Now, before I do that, or in order to do that, I actually want another chart. So here's where some, some of the customization comes in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a text box. And um, I'm going to make this resources with available time, because that's the, well, it would help if I could type. Spelling is a virtue. Yes. <laughs> So there's just a, a quick text box, just, just like you have these for the other charts. And now I'm going to also add in an additional chart. And I'm going to do a column chart. So I add that chart, and I just, just drag it down here. 
and you see it, it brings in some things. Well, this isn't exactly what I want, so I'm going to make some changes to this chart. Basically, um, by the title, I want it to show resources with available time. So the first thing I'm going to do is now I'm going to go over to this pane on the right side. And the first thing I want is I want this chart to be resource-based, not task-based. So I click Resources up at the top. And now you can see instead of tasks along the x-axis, I've got resources. The other thing I want to do is um, this, the category says name. Well, I don't really want the resource names. I actually want this to be by time, just like the one up above. That's how I'm going to find my replacements. So in the select category, I choose time. And now you can see that it's got the, the time on the x-axis. OK, so now we're getting somewhere. Well, the next thing I want to do is to find uh, replacements for the developer. I'm going to look for resources that are in the same resource group. So back over to the right side, I'm going to apply a filter over here, click oh. the down arrow, and choose group. And I have a group called dev. So I type that in and click OK. And now you can see that the only resources that are considered for this chart are the resources in the, um, the dev group. OK. Now, next thing is, what I want this chart to be is available time. I don't care about the actual work they did. So I come over here and I turn off the actual work checkbox. Mm -hmm. I don't even care about the work they're scheduled to do turn off that checkbox. What I care about is their remaining availability. So I turn on that checkbox. And now all of a sudden, well, you see that there are a whole bunch of lines. Technical that's, term. Yeah, <laughs> that's highly technical. Yeah, we're trained professionals. Don't try this at home. Right, um, right. Bunch now, of lines, an eye chart. <laughs> One of the things that we want to do is there are little too many lines here. So I'm going to go back up to the category, and we've got the time category, and I'm going to edit that. And sure enough, the units are days. Well, that's, that's a little bit too detailed. So I'm going to click the down arrow, and I'm going to change that to weeks, and click OK. So now that's looking a little bit better, but you know, the thing is, the developer's only over-allocated for a couple of weeks. So mm -hmm. there's a really easy way to filter this, this graph. Once okay. again, just click this filter here, and you can turn off all of the weeks, and then say, well, I just want to see the weeks from, from May 18th to June 2nd. So I come down here and just turn on the, the weeks that I want. And now you can see there are the weeks. And you can see the, the developer and the web developer. And it's like, oh, wait a second. I don't want the web developer. I, I really need somebody who knows how to do you know, regular uh, coding. So I'm going to turn off the web developer and uh, the other web developer. And now you see, well, I've got the, the regular developer, and I've got developer 2. And conveniently, developer 2 is available for that assignment. So now I know who I can assign it to. I can go back over into my, uh, into my Gantt chart. You know, if I wanted to come over here, I could then make that change. So uh, Nice. Yeah. And then just. The one thing I wanted to, um, so that's how you do it for that first one. Well, the thing is, now that we've got this chart, you can actually go back and, and change this and, and look at a different resource and say, well, now I want to figure out what to do with the analyst. So I change this one. Mm -hmm. And now you see where that over allocation is. So now I'm going to come down here and one of the things I need to do is change the group that this looks at. Well, I'm going to just 
quickly pick a different filter so I can get back to the group and type in my other group. In this case, it's a group called Biz. And do the same thing I did before. Well, now I've got here, here are some resources. Well, I'm not going to assign the management team to a, a task, and we're not going to consider the sponsor either. So I turn those two off. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, filter and only show the weeks where the overallocation occurs. So that looks like it's, you know, right about here. And click apply. And so now I see that, well, the other resource that actually has some availability is the project manager. So maybe I could reassign the task that, um, that the analyst was working on to the project manager. Very so, cool. There you go.